Hello everyone, it's Red Man, and welcome back to Dragon Ball's Universe 2. Last time, we helped Go Goku and Piccolo defeat Raditz, and explore more of Kanton City and learning more of what it has. As you can see, I finally customized my character. Improvements coming later. But I want to address something. As you can see, Piccolo has a special icon where he can be a trainer. With all the skills I have, I am not going to cover any of the trainers. I'm going to let you... You decide to figure out who you want to train you and such. And with that, the most we're just going to cover is just the story mode here. So, let's go on and see what t time patrol we're going on now. After a long loading screen. As you're probably already aware, Kanton City TV's been hijacked by someone. And by someone, I mean few. Not sure what he's up to, but it seems he wants to show us something. Fu, who's Fu? After we finished fighting Janemba in that time rift, I went after Few. I don't remember fighting Janemba. I don't remember exactly what went down after that. But yeah, a lot's happened, that's for sure. Thanks to all of you, I was able to restore the video few played back then. Let's take a look. Uh, so... Is the image coming in clear? Alright, seems to be working. Hey there! My name's Few. You've all been a huge help in my experiments. And now it's time to finally show off my findings. I can't tell you how excited I am. Not really sure how you time patrollers react to all of this. But I'm sure the results will blow everyone away. So whatever you do, stay tuned. Okay, it's about time to... Hey, it looks like we've got a guest. He's going to want to see this, too. That's far enough, you. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm only just getting started. We're talking about history like no one's ever seen. Ready? It's time to go on a little trip through time. Connecting to a new timeline. What could that possibly mean? Now that I've seen this video, things are becoming clearer. I think I'm starting to remember what happened. My father and Goku fused. But I don't know, was that the new timeline? I have no idea what's going on. We're not going to be able to get there easily. Unless... wait. Unless, wait... This is not the main storyline, so please do not worry. <laughs> this will happen with the DLC that has been launched with the game as well. Which becomes the annoying task of just trying to enter. Which gives me more loading screens. So yeah, Fu is more or less a DLC storyline that we'll be covering later. All right. Come forth, G. 
Shenron! Uh, Go on, wish. What is your wish? I have a simple request. The people of Kanton City have made their voices heard. Great Shenron, bring their chosen warrior here. I just have to grant the one wish, correct? Yes, please, Shenron. This is just DLC. Here's to time patrolling and protecting history. Right. Let's do our best. So yeah, um, it's going to play a lot of cutscenes that I don't want being played. Unfortunately, you do have to go through all of them, so... I may or may not just cut them out just for time relevance. Okay, I hear music playing. Try a rank match! No thanks! Well, hello there. You must be the fabled Time Patroller of Canton City. You know, there are so many ways for, for a Time Patroller to train. you got parallel quests, expert missions, and just to name a few. Supreme Kai of Time asked me to serve as your guide and help you with all of that. Hey, don't worry. I'm not going to try anything funny. If you need anything, just let me know. So yeah, that's multiplayer modes. Basically, that will help you with going through all like the parallel quests, the crystal quests, and other quests as well. So, he'll help you with all that as well. And right now, I don't want to deal with this person. The person I want to deal with is up there, so I now need to go and climb these stairs again. Or we just go up here, be careful with the speed button here. Once we get up here, we can enter that room properly. And actually, I'm making sure that, yeah. I want to enter this room properly. Of course I have. And I swear, if it kicks me out again. Necessary power to resurrect the demon realm. More DLC cutscenes, and guess what? That's gonna kick me back out, isn't it? That or summon Shenron again. I hear that music, which means it kicked me out again. Try a ranked match! Hey, you're, you're a time patroller, aren't you? I'm going to be a stylist here in the future. Looking forward to serving you. We normally style and color hair, but for the time patrollers that don't have hair, we offer head shape changes. Impressive, right? Oh, but it'll, be, but it'll cost 10 TP medals for our service, so make sure you've got medals if you're dissatisfied and want to change. See ya. Stop by any time. Oh my goodness, I will cut to when I get there. Okay, 
Let's try entering through this door one more time. Thank you! Now we can continue on with the story. Basically, Deborah, Fu, and basically Shenron, those three cutscenes, we're not covering right now. We're covering this. Bless, there does not seem to be any end to the, these changes to history. Oh, hello there. You could have come at a better time. Alterations in history have been made across multiple different eras. We could really use your help out there. Don't let us down. Although you are sure you're strong enough to take on this challenge, you have been appointed to elite unit, but I think you could use some more training. Well, if you insist, I won't stop. be the one to stop you. Are you sure you want to proceed? In that case, there's a moment in history when the Saiyans attacked the Earth, and the Earthlings set out for planet Namek. So, basically, you do have two histories that you could easily do. I'm going to go with Earth history first, because that's the first one you need to do first. And, basically, that is the recommended level. Our le level is right now four. We should be able to handle two Saiyans. I see. In that case, you may head to the Time Vault, but please be careful out there. Now, the reason why it does recommend you to be at a certain level is because these enemies can get out of hand if you're not that careful. That scroll shows there has been another change in history. This is when the two Saiyans, Nappa and Vegeta, arrive on Earth. Two Saiyans this time, eh? That's quite the pickle, wouldn't you say? These changes have been picking up in frequency lately. Please be careful out there. Don't worry, I will. So basically we're just going back to continue with the more or less the Earth Saga after we defeated Raditz. And basically the Saiyans of Nappa and Vegeta are basically what's being disrupted. Speaking of which... Huh. No entrance. Okay. I'm okay with that. Saiyan Siege, defend the earth. Reduce Nappa's health to a certain amount. Player's HP is depleted. Here's the thing, I have five allies. I don't think I'm losing to Nappa here. Also, I did set up my skills up so I could better use my character here. Okay, Nappa, I need you to go down. Also, I do have other skills equipped onto my character as well as prepare to be punished. That will boost my attack, but I cannot change the lock on. Like, I'm going to change that ever. Come on. There we go. Oh, nope. You're not getting me on that one. Yeah, be careful when the AI does that because they love to try to pop up behind you. Okay, here's my opening. The Dorial Launcher. Uh-oh. There we go. That's better. Probably should have planned that a little bit better. You know what? Let's just kick this person Nappa's butt. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Clear.
Now, basically, we do get a level up out of that, so that's at least nice. But we can easily just press next and keep on going. Which all we have to do is wait for our loading screen to go up. Turles, the other Saiyan. Reduce Turles' health to a certain amount. Player's HP is depleted. Uh, what? I, Turles was not the other Saiyan. Yeah, that's not the correct Saiyan. But we do have Goku on our side this time, so... Let's see if we can defeat Turles here. Yeah, basically just keep on on the pressure with these characters as much as you can. Come on. Turles, can you please stop talking so I can at least talk? Yeah, basically, Turles is a little more tougher than Nappa because you only have one ally. And all you have to do is just keep on kicking Turles back and forth. Just be careful that Turles doesn't hit you with anything. And Turles does have access to the Tree of Might Fruits, which can basically... Yes, I know we're going to take him down. And with that, the hero from the first game. And that's another finish. And clear. And we did another level up, so that's good. And let's keep on going. And we just have an hour loading screen to wait through. He's gone. But who was that anyway? Believe he said his name was Turles. There's no time to stop and wonder. I have to get over to Gohan fast. And that we I shall. I have no idea who you are, but thanks. You really helped out. You're welcome. Oh, no. That enormous presence I sensed vanished. I have to hurry. Uh, do you want to come with me? Um, sure. Same brutality. Beyond the limits. Defeat all enemies. Player HP is depleted. Nampa is still alive! No need of air. Goku's here. Krillin. Plus myself. I'll take it from here. Got you. Go on. We'll go. D Dad. Finally, there you are. So yeah, while Goku and Vegeta are fighting, guess who we are fighting again? We're fighting Nappa, this time alone, so be careful here. Goku is technically also fighting as well, but... Yeah, 
Uh, that was a bad timing there. Yeah. Through the story, basically Nappa has killed a lot of people here, including Piccolo. So let's see if we can beat up Nappa quickly. There we go. Enough with the taunting. Taunting, I need to get back into him fighting. Let's see if that takes care of Nappa here. Uh, nope, we just have a little bit more HP. This should take him out now. There we go. And with that, all we have to do is... Where the heck is Vegeta? Where is Vegeta? Okay, there they are. Let's see if we can help Goku quickly. Come on. Basically, you can interrupt the battle and Vegeta's focus will be on you then. And luckily, I do have the prepare to be punished. So now, I have more strength to go against Vegeta. And luckily, this will be my strategy here. So like, every time I just launch them, I will go for Die Die Missile Barrage. And luckily, Vegeta isn't that hard either. A lot of these early fat battles will not be hard. A lot of times, you're just button mashing against them and hopefully breaking their defense and not getting comboed like that. Just try to evade, if not, if you do find yourself in a p position where you are, are you do have your evasive skills. Also, be careful on your stamina as well, because if your stamina is running low, you are going to get braked. But that does care take care of Vegeta. Um. Uh. Yep. Napa, you're about to be eliminated. Elegant Blaster! And finish. And clear. And let's see here. I believe at some point it does allow you to go back to the time nest, but... It does have a sequence, so we are still on the Earth story here. As we have in our loaded screen. The conditions do become a little more difficult when you do go through more of these battles, especially if you have teammates. Two giant monkeys. Power times ten times two? Great ape transformation? Defeat all enemies. Player's HP is depleted is the lose condition. Uh I feel like I'm a little underpowered here. Unlike regular battles, you must put great apes into a break state in order to deal damage to them. Attack them and bring the great ape's stamina to zero. Put them in, a, in the break state, only th then can you deal damage to them. Also, catching a great ape off guard and using a throw attack on their tail will greatly reduce their stamina. If the great ape is in a berserk in a break state, executing a throw will deal huge 
amount of damage. So basically, keep your distance, put it in a break stick, if you get to its tail, throw throw him. So let's Oh, I need to lock on to one of them. Come on! Okay, I do have a move. Oh, right. Actually, wait. I wonder, can I? Oh, nope. Okay, I need to do something here. Come on! Okay, let's try this. Yeah, if you can try to keep your distance and just do die die missile barrages or basically power, once they get to that point, no, not you, get in there and start doing as much damage as you can before they decide to get there. Once they do that, get away from them quickly. What Goku did was correct is was launching a Kamea wave on them. Oh, almost got hit by a rock. Why did I aim that way? That does nothing for me. Okay. Yeah, we just have to keep our distance. And oh my goodness, two great apes at the same time. Just try to keep your distance. And uh, I have to... Luckily, you can basically... Just watch what they do, and if they try to do anything, try to back the heck up like that! Out there, they can easily swat you like a fly like that. Luckily for us, we have more die-die missile branches to use. And I wonder, can I actually... Can I grab your tail? No, I cannot. You know what? We'll just try to break... put you in a break stance. And we'll go for the Doria Launcher. That should do enough damage. Come on! Let's do some damage. Uh, Vegeta, please do not swap me, please. That would be very great. Ouch. Okay. So, like I said, just be careful. If he starts swatting you, get the heck away. Like that, for example. Die Die Missile Barrage. Come on, I need you to... Yeah, this fight can be very difficult if you're not prepared. And we can easily just go for this move again. This did do a lot of damage last time. Come on, come on, come on! Okay, that takes care of one dirty ape. Now we can deal with just one now. So basically same strategy as last time. Of course, I do wish I had more key to work with. Ow. You know what? I can do die die missile barrage now. Look, here's the thing. Great Ape Vegeta will actually have more of a moveset than Nappa will. That's why I did take care of Nappa first. Oh, if I go for Die Die Missile Barrage, I will miss, miss a chance to go for the Doria Launcher. Uh, that's a rock! Ouch! Luckily, I do have items, so let's just heal myself and dodge that rock. And of course you get into a break stance, why would ya? So yeah, let's just get a bunch of damage in right now. And let's just get another one of... Oh. Okay, that can reflect that. I do wish I could basically try to grab the tail and show off that, but oh well. 
Oh, watch out for that as well. They do have ranged projectiles themselves. Okay. I do have Die Die Missile Barrage. Okay, I don't believe Goku getting knocked out will be considered a game over, so that's at least good, but. Oh. Oh, God, no! Well, no more Goku! And no more me if I keep letting this happen. I'm just going to heal up quickly because <laughs> now I'm in a position where I don't want to be in. Especially when you decide to drop kick me like that. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, I don't know how that happened, but okay. The Dorial Launcher, go! Come on! If we can at least get Vegeta down to one bar, that'll be at least nice. Thank you! That is what I need. Go on. I'll go with you. Yes. Now we have more allies here, so that's at least good. So all we have to do is just break. Okay, in that case, let's just get a power boost on it. Oh, okay. I'm trying not to basically die here. I do have two potions left here. Ow! Okay, I need another potion. Oh my goodness, I just need to break you. Okay, let's try Die Die Missile Barrage on ya. And if I could just break you at least a little more. Okay, the Dorial Launcher, go! This should get your HP down a lot more now. I do hope the other two are basically putting in damage as well. Oh, get the heck out of there! Blast it! Okay, come on. I, Vegeta, I need you to stop swatting me like a fly. Yeah, you're not throwing that rock at me. Oh, nope, nope. Nah, I'm falling for that combo. Come on, grab the tail at least. Okay, we just have to, I know for a fact I at least have to break them at least two more times. The only problem is I don't have enough HP to last against him. Especially if I try to guard like this. Nope, you're not hitting me with that. Let's go for Die Die Missile Barrage. Why do you have to go for a super explosion? Okay, there we go. The Dorial Launcher one more time. Come on! Come on! At least get yourself to a... And get the heck out of there! I just need to... Do not throw that at me. Oh, that's one less person. Oh, do not throw that rock at me. Do not throw that rock at me. Uh, 
One thing I do recommend that you bring with you is a Mac is a charging move so you can charge up your specials because Also oh, using that as a blockade is very good to use. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Keep throwing rocks. I'll just keep key blasting you here. Oh, got your attention. Okay, that should not have gone through. Die, die, missile barrage. I know this is more or less a coward's kind of strategy right now, but right now I have no other choice. Why did that hit me? Die Die Missile Barrage. Followed by Doria Launcher. Or maybe not. Yeah, this is just going to... I'm about to hit, hit, feel a lot of damage right now. Uh, what happened to that distraction? I have no more potions. This is not an ideal situation. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure that I'm at least behind something or at least out of range when he does any of his moves. So when he does do that, I'm just going to constantly just fire at him from this point. Oh god, you've noticed me. Okay, you can't hit me if that rock can't get through that pillar. That, at least I've learned. What I've also learned is that... Come on. Okay, I do have to use Die Die Missile Barrage. That's bad. Now your attention is fully on me. Luckily for me, that rock should not hit. That on the other hand, we've learned that does hit. Oh, if I could just go for an R1. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, come on. There we go. That was so close. All right. Oh, that was almost close. Finish. Clear. So something to note, if you are having difficulties in battle and you are basically having a problem, you can get stop back where you, where those are potential checkpoints. For example, we just went from six to nine. Well, we have nine attribute points to use later on. You're not getting away. Are you stopping me? It's okay. What? Next time, I'll... I'll beat him on my own. Thank you. Goodbye, Vegeta. the only time we have to deal with a giant character. Welcome back. Very nice. 
nicely done. Good to have you back. Now this is where Trunks fi officially gets introduced. Welcome back to you too. Yeah, it was rough out there. I'm sorry. I failed in my mission. Don't worry about it. If they were that easy to catch, we'd have gotten them already. Ahem! A proper introduction is in order. Oh, yeah, that's right. Nice to meet you. I'm Trunks. Uh, I'm in charge of the Time Patrol. In a manner of speaking, I guess. Yeah, I could have needed your help with those apes. This here is my partner. You see, we've been using the scrolls to perform special missions. But there have been so many changes in history lately. That we're a bit short-handed. That's why I've had to ask for help from you and Elder Kai. These two have told me that you're quite capable. They say that you're a cut above the rest, apparently. Elder Kai admires your persistence, the way you keep finishing mission after mission. Which we have been doing. That's enough! Don't spoil our new agent! I never said anything like that. You've got a long way to go, recruit. Don't listen to him. That's not true at all. You've been doing excellent work. Stop that right now! Can't give me a compliment, can you, Elder Kai? Anyway, history was somehow restored, but there are far too many anomalies. Why are all these people suddenly appearing out of their proper places and times? They got away from me this time, but we've seen this before. It's them. Yes, the pair I was chasing are the ones behind all of this. They enlist villains from different timelines and use them to sow chaos. So like Turles. And who's this you speak of? They're denizens of the demon realm who have come from a time far in the future to steal energy from the past. The wicked scientist Toa and her abominable creation, Mira. Looks like I overdid it a bit. I've been looking for you, <laughs> Turles. See, look. You're not the easiest people to find. I believe I told you never to act on your own. What I do is none of your damn business. Okay, loading screen. Go a little bit faster, please. Don't order me around, Mira. I don't recall ever. 
for becoming your servant? I'm only cooperating with you for now, so I can have my revenge on that Saiyan brat. But that's all! Okay. But now, now, we mustn't bicker amongst ourselves. Mm -hmm. Do you have what I asked for? Yes, you can take it with you. The demon realm has amplified its effects. Whoever eats the fruit of the Tree of Might will gain incredible power beyond compare. <laughs> I'll be able to crush Kakarot with a single blow. You can count on it. Well, you know what to do. Hmm. I wonder about that. You know, you should really just reprogram them. They're fine. Oh, come on. Why bother anyway? They're wreaking havoc throughout history well enough on their own. Besides, I have everything well in place. Gee, I wonder who is that person in the mask? We will never know. Probably. Maybe. Probably. Hey there, how are you doing? It looks like you're getting the hang of the time patrol. I never doubted you for a second. I'm thinking I'll explain to you about how to investigate the large t rift in time. A rift in time is what we call the strange areas where changes in history have led to fissures in the very fabric of time itself. Investigating such areas and resolving the problem is one of the most important jobs of the time patrol. Although most rifts can be resolved by simply eliminating the cause of the problem within, these large rifts in time are so gigantic that the sheer amount of people and objects involved is on a massive scale. Hmm. Maybe it'd be faster if, I, if it, you just went and saw it for yourself. Go check it out. To visit a large t rift in time, you need to be able to access the time miniatures. You know what time miniatures are, right? They're those things floating in the sky above Countdown City. Oh, that's right. You still can't use flight yet. In that case, you'll need to ask the transfer shop. At present, there are a total of five large rifts in time. You can use the transfer shop to reach all of them. There are other way, others who have investigated similar incidents, so try asking them for more info. So time miniatures are going to be fly, five floating areas that will have missions for you. I will not be going to these quite yet. Otherwise, well, I do have to go explore all of them. So, next time on Dragon Ball Universe 2, we'll be going to the five floating islands and seeing what they're all about.